Hello, everyone, and welcome to another podcast with me, Klaus Kärjänen. Today's topic is, uh, should I start from the beginning? When when you work with a project and uh, you get, get stuff done and uh, weeks go by and maybe months go by and and uh, at some point you start to think that, uh, is this the project which I should work to the end? Or should I just uh, jump it and uh, start the other project which happened to pop up into my mind yesterday or, or today after? So you always get better ideas, how, what, you, what would be much more fun to work with and what much more fun to play with. Uh, and uh, of course, more fun for the players as well. But uh, in the end, there is no no like golden rule that uh, some some projects just are so awesome that you want to work with those every day and every hour uh, for the rest of your lives of life. But uh, it's not that how it goes. You you will always get demotivated on the stuff which you work with, and uh, that's totally okay. And uh, the the important part is that uh, how do you plan basically the time when you're not motivated enough that you still would keep keep on going and actually finish the pro- finish the project i think uh, everyone who's been working with games can relate to this but uh there's a lot of uh, projects which never got into daylight for me uh, and uh that's really sad for me and uh, i keep bearing those in my head that uh these should be uh, completed and uh, made it to the end and actually release those and uh, get get over with. And uh, I think that's the case, really. Like, like when you work with something and you actually get it uh, pretty much done, you should, should go and uh, just finish it. Just uh, plan what you still need for the game and make the minimum planning what 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 is really necessary for that specific game that you can call it kind of a complete and just go for it and uh, make the actual code and graphics and finish it and put it out because uh yeah i think the reason why why uh people keep on uh skipping the projects and uh starting the next one because uh, they pretty much lose lose their uh, uh hope for the game also that uh it won't won't uh get sales or or it won't be interesting in the app store or google play or or so forth it won't get any players and uh, uh most likely that is the case but you will never find it out if you don't actually release it and uh to do, do a marketing for it and st- so forth you should always aim to finish and ship it and uh to get it, get it somewhere to show people that you're working with what what you'll be making for the last couple of weeks or months or years or so forth but also uh when planning the projects which you work with of course uh, especially if you're working alone uh the scope of the project is the most important uh part you can really fail any project if you fail the scope so if you plan too big of a game for yourself to actually finish it's uh, already uh, already a failed project <laughs> when even before starting it so always plan something really simple because only uh, really simple games have a lot of like a lot of those small uh, small things which you need to uh, actually craft and make uh, the graphics and sounds and effects and so forth to uh, actually make those feel good so the uh, the core of the game should be something really simple and uh, you can actually polish the game and make it feel feel good and awesome and uh, then you can start thinking of adding new feature for it but uh, just keep it really simple when planning your games don't don't uh, buy too uh, too much at the same time but um but uh so in the end it's not not a not a good thing to start from the beginning the only only uh cases in in which i see that you should start from the beginning is if you're a really rookie into making games and this is your like first or second game which you're making 
uh, it's totally okay that you start from from the beginning because most likely you have really learned some really basics during at that first or second or or the third project that are uh, it it would be uh, really really bad to <laughs> go to the end so so it's okay to just dump it and uh, uh, step to the next project and make it make it a well, a lot better than the last one. But uh, but in the end, if you're a rookie and make your first game, it's always nice to, nice that if you try to plan it as a game which you can actually finish with those uh, current skills which you have right now. So uh, uh, yeah, in the end, it's the scope yet again that uh, you can you can plan plan a game. Of course, that I'm going to make an MMO or MMO RPG <laughs> as my first project. And uh, it's gonna be awesome and so forth. So of course it's gonna fail. But if you go for something really simple, like like couple of levels of Super Mario or so forth as your first level, most likely you will succeed and get it out and ship it as a free game to, uh, let's say, uh, each dot io or Game Jolt or so forth. And uh, you will actually get players who play it. And I think it feels awesome when working with your first games. But yeah, in the end, always aim to ship the game. Uh, start uh, to aiming from the planning process, and when making your design and your timelines, you can start the uh, start uh, the shipping process <laughs> from the first day. So keep that in mind. Okay, so that's my couple of thoughts on should I start from the beginning. So hopefully you got something out from this, and uh, if you did or did not, please let me know on our Discord channel. You can find the link below on the YouTube video description. So let's chat there. Thank you very much for your time and I'll see you next time.